Washington's Roman Catholic bishops are asking Governor Christine Gregoire to stop the execution of a convicted killer next week. Spokane Bishop William Skillstad joined the bishops from Seattle and Yakima to ask that Ray Stinson spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole. Eric Loney is live tonight to tell us about Bishop Skillstad's request. Eric? Yeah, Bishop and the two other uh, bishops sent Governor Christine Gregoire a letter last week asking the, her to spare Stinson's life. He's set to be put to death by lethal injection next week on December 3rd. He was convicted of killing his wife and business partner in western Washington back in 1993. The state penitentiary in Walla Walla has had several run-throughs of the process already, and they are preparing the death chamber. The bishop's letter asked the governor to commute Stinson's death sentence and turn it into a life in prison without the possibility of parole. The letter says the, the tradition of responding to killing with state-sanctioned killing continues exactly what the state is trying to stop. We need to break the cycle of violence, and this is certainly killing another person uh, in retribution for someone who has been killed or several people have been killed is kind of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. We need to break that. And uh, yes, uh, people need to be incarcerated for the rest of their lives for the protection of society, but we feel that's a much more dignified and humane response than execution. The governor has also received a 16-page letter from the Washington Coalition to abolish the death penalty. It argues that the death penalty is not fairly uh, administered because other men who have killed more people are living their life in prison, not on death row. Now, several vigils are planned across the state, including here in Spokane and in Walla Walla, before next week's execution. We called the governor for comment, and we did not receive a call back. Reporting live in Spokane, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.